to make my Luminara, I've chosen Genophile Long from my stock box. The color is not perfect, but it is the tool I have that most resembles the greenish yellow Luminara's skin. Let's get her naked and start the usual process. She has super sticky hair. It's disgusting, but it doesn't matter because we have to cut it as short as possible. It took me a long time to publish a new video. It has been due to a series of unfortunate events. Well, not all have been unfortunate. I have been in Israel for a while due to my work. I have had exams. I have accumulated deadlines for articles and book chapters to submit to the publisher. I have a couple of conferences about my research. I work with stuff related to the archaeology of Near Est. And the worst, I have had so many problems with the computer and because of that I have lost many videos of the creation process of Luminara, so I am very, very, very sorry. Once all the hair is cut, I can cook her head in boiling water. It takes a couple of minutes to soften the plastic and the glue inside. I then carefully remove the head and with a screwdriver and tweezers or pliers through the hole in the neck, I can extract all the rests of her and glue. Once the inside of the head is clean, I remove the factory paint with pure acetone. It is time for the hair, I am going to use a different technique. And this is my first time with acrylic yarn. For this, I have bought black yarn and I have taken a comb for pets. It is not the one for my dog, Busco. I have bought it specifically for my dolls. I got pieces of yarn, put them knotted on a stick and undo the strands. Then I comb the yarn and finally I use the hair straighteners, but be careful and check that they are not too hot.
With the hair ready, I joined the head again with the body. And I glue little by little strands of the yarn with hot glue. Be careful with the process when you reach the end. To have a clean result, you have to stick the strands in the opposite direction and then comb them in the direction that you want them to have in the chosen hairstyle. After a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, so that the paint adheres properly to the vinyl of the head, I begin to draw Luminara's features and characteristics. It will be a little special Luminara, because I will give her a personal touch. Every time I decide that I want to save, so to speak, my walk, I use Mr. Super Clear again. I use watercolor pencils. My favorite brand is Stabilo and Soft Pastels. I am applying color here and there and drawing first with light colors that serve as a guide and then highlight the lines with darker colors.
the eyebrows are the worst part. I can never do what I want. I definitely have to practice more. It's time to make the clothes, and this part is where I've lost the most part of the videos. First, I sewed a black jumpsuit as a base. I have made a pattern, and despite the fact that I have no experience, I think that it has not turned out badly. Then, with brown fabric, I sewn the skirt and the jacket. The sleeves are a bit special. I've tried to make them as good as possible, but the stiffness of the fabric has not allowed them to have the movement that I would have liked them to have.
finally and already off camera because I had closed the videos of the process. I made a light supper and Luminara's characteristic hat or head garment. I made it with Worla thermoplastic as well as her bracelets. These are the final photos. You can see the Bentress video here on my channel. Please, if you like it, subscribe, like and leave a comment. That means a lot to me. I promise not to take so long for my next video and I am already preparing a couple of collaborations with fantastic people. Don't miss the activity on my channel. Bye!